Good morning and welcome to today's Child of the Week Assembly. Today we're going to be thinking a little bit about harvest, but first let's just share in our liturgy. In the beginning when God created all things, he said, let there be light, and there was light. Let your light shine. God is light and in him there is no darkness. Let your light shine. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Let your light shine. So we're very nearly at harvest. This week is going to be a special celebration. And uh, I know your teachers have lots of activities planned that really think about the environment and maybe celebrating harvest outside as much as we can, as long as it doesn't rain too much. But we're going to have a, an assembly, I think, on Friday from Reverend Andrew and Reverend Mark. And we're going to be collecting items like we normally do. And uh, Mrs Anderson and her team are going to help deliver those later on. It's a time of thanksgiving. I wonder what you think of when you think of harvest. In the olden days when maybe uh, people used to uh, collect in the harvest by hand, maybe a lot more people were aware of it than nowadays. I can remember the, the lovely wheat sheaf bread that Mrs Heal used to get in for our harvest assemblies. We won't have the chance this year to, to see that because we can't all be together. But I put, put a picture here and you can see a little mouse, a little dormouse here in the midst of the, the wheat sheaf. So harvest means to gather in the crops. In the rich Western world, we have big combine harvesters to, to collect in the grain, but here we can see an old gentleman having to do that by hand and another young man here collecting in these long stalks of wheat. People rely on these to eat. In some countries, we're okay, we can go to the shops, but this is, this is so important for so many people around the world this harvest time. And it's a time to be thankful. I put these pictures up because it shows you something of how people celebrate harvest in dancing, in art lots of different celebrations it's wonderful this one down here is a feast of tabernacles that is celebrated in israel and it's uh, sukkot the the tabernacles feast they make these little tabernacles and decorate them to have their their meal and remember the harvest i can remember as a child singing a, a hymn that's uh, well known, I'm not sure whether you do or know it, but we plough the fields and scatter the good seed on the land. But it is fed and watered by God's almighty hand. He sends the snow in winter, the warmth to swell the grain, the breezes and the sunshine and soft refreshing rain. All good gifts around us are sent from heaven above. Then thank the Lord, oh thank the Lord, for all his love. I'm not sure the rain that we've had recently has been soft, refreshing rain, but we can thank God for the sunshine, for the watering of the grain of the seed, so that it does bear fruit. And when we come to our harvest each year, we think about those around us who we'd like to share that offering with. Here, this isn't our school here but there's some children who are making up boxes of for delivery and as I said earlier Mrs Anderson and the team from the church are going to deliver boxes of food to our neighbours and any left over they're going to give to our food bank in Winslow. This is a picture from our school. It's a big trolley load of food that we were able to donate in lockdown and uh, we want to continue. So this week if you can remember to bring in your gifts they will be distributed. They'll be quarantined first, but they will be dis distributed. And we have so much to share. 
There's a story in the Bible from Jesus feeding the 5,000. It's in each of the Gospels. It's, it's seen as really important. I wonder if you can remember what happened in that story. How much food did the little boy have to give to Jesus? I'm going to stop just a minute so that uh, if you know, you can put your hand up and your teacher can ask you. You can see loaves of bread and fish. I wonder if anybody got it right. There were five loaves and two fish. And the people had been crowding off to Jesus all day. They were tired, they were hungry. And he asked his disciples to feed them. And the disciples were really fed up. We haven't got any food, Jesus. We just want to go to the village and, and rest now. But Jesus said, no, we need to feed all these people. And there were about 5,000 of them. This little boy came up and said, well, I have five loaves and two fish. Is that any good? And Jesus took that food and he thanked God the Father and he was able to feed all those people and have lots of food left over as well. I like this cartoon drawing here where it shows Jesus putting the food into this big machine and you see the shape of it, it's a heart and that's the key, it's God's love that enables that food to be multiplied and you see all this bread coming out at the bottom. And that's what we're going to do with our uh, offerings this week. In our love for our community, we're going to share it. And hope that that is multiplied many times over. So that it feeds lots of people. I mentioned right at the beginning of my, my uh, assembly today that uh, we're going to do some celebrating of our environment for harvest. Um, it's called Mossy Church and uh, we're really grateful to Mrs Nelson, uh, Reverend Mark's wife, who gave these ideas to us and, uh, and I hope you're going to be able to go outside and just, just be quiet and just explore our environment and think about how wonderful it is that we have such a lovely place to live and see how uh, God has given us so many different things. These are just some pictures I found of, of art that people have done outside. I love this one. This is of all different leaves in this beautiful spiral shape. And this is called twig art. I've actually got a necklace that looks a little bit like this. But isn't that wonderful? And somebody's done a flower here made up of all sorts of different bits from the environment. And this is another, it's like a mandala and it's beautiful leaf or um, arrangement. I know your teachers have got lots of ideas, so do enjoy and I hope that your ideas will get posted up on Dojo so that I can share and see in them. So we need to say thank you to God. Thank you for all that you've given us. Thank you for the possibility that we have to share with other people. I'm going to stop now and just say a prayer together. Dear God, we're so grateful for all the food that we get given. Harvest time reminds us of the way that that food gets from our fields to our forks. Help us never to take it for granted. We think of those who maybe don't have enough food in our country or in other countries. And thank you that we can be generous at this time and demonstrate in our actions, how thankful we are. Help us never to take granted all that we have and help us to always share our resources that the planet has provided for us all year round. Amen. And so we come now to our Child of the Week and celebrations and from Miss Berman's class, we have Mickey Quinn Houlihan. Well done. In Miss Marsden's class, well done to Noah. And in year two, Miss Franklin wants to say, well done, James. And from Mrs. Thomas and Mrs. Walker, 
a big celebration for Victoria. Well done, Child of the Week. In Miss Jake's and Miss Paul's class, well done to Lily. And in Miss Croft's class, a celebration clap out for Jaden. Moving on to year four, we have Katara in Mr. LeFebvre's class and Zach in Mr. Wright's class. And in year five, Jamil in Ms. Sodonu's class and Sophie in Mr. Boyer's class. Well done to all of you. And finally, we move on to year six. And in Mrs. Epps and Ms. Greenhill's class, well done to Poppy. And finally, in Ms. Denial's class, a big well done to Lily. Congratulations to all of you. And uh, we'll put your names up on the website and I know your teachers will also make a fuss of that on, uh, on Class Gojo. So well done to all of you. And so we end our assembly together by saying, go in the light and peace of Jesus. In the name of Christ. Amen. You may just like at the end of this assembly to have a listen to We Plough the Fields and Scatter. I'm sure your teachers could get it up on YouTube if you, if you wanted to do that. You may also want to say together in, in your class the Lord's Prayer. Remember, we, we thank God for the daily bread that we have. Something maybe that you could do together. Goodbye and I'll see you next week. <laughs>